The sixth generation NGAD fighter has made China so worried that their satellite now spies on it, or at least what they thought was it, but actually turned out to be a mock-up of the Dark Star aircraft that starred in the new Top Gun movie. But China might be onto something here, as although this aircraft was for the movie, aerospace company Lockheed Martin just announced that they did work with the producers of the movie to develop the aircraft. Leaving the question hanging, is the Dark Star a peek into the NGAD 6th generation fighter? The chairman, president, and CEO of Lockheed Martin, James Teclet, recently confirmed the company's Skunk Works division helped create the design of the Dark Star in a partnership with Top Gun's producers to bring cutting-edge, future-forward technology to the big screen. Now, this was always going to send waves globally, as Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works division has been responsible for many of the sci-fi aircraft that have graced the skies, including the world's first stealth aircraft, the F-117 Nighthawk, the world's first fifth-generation fighter, the F-22 Raptor, and the fastest manned aircraft in history, the hypersonic SR-71 Blackbird. And there have been talks of an even faster, more advanced SR-72 in the works, whose renderings are similar to both Dark Star from the movie and the NGAD 6th generation fighter. And China might be thinking that too, as the US Navy told the movie producer, Jerry Bruckheimer, that China reoriented a spy satellite to get pictures of it, thinking it was a real experimental aircraft. Although this information is only according to the renowned editor of Sandbox blog, Alex Hollings, it isn't far-fetched that China is keeping an eye on the workings of the United States, particularly the fighter jets, as those have proven to be battle deciders for decades. After all, it is certain that the NGAD fighter is real and underway as massive funding has been going into the program, so much so that the fighter is slated to become the most expensive fighter ever built and its loyal wingmen will each cost about twice as much as an F-35 Lightning II. So just how lethal would the NGAD be to have such an insanely high price tag? Details of the NGAD fighter available to the public aren't exactly a boatload, and understandably so. High secrecy of new groundbreaking American fighters makes it difficult for opposition parties to know how to counter them. The same was done with the F-22 Raptor during its development and even to this day, there's a policy in place that prevents the fighter from being exported to any other country, not even to allies of the US. A similar policy will likely be in place for the NGAD fighter, because it has already cemented its position as a new groundbreaking fighter, according to the Air Force's biennial acquisition report, covering the fiscal years 2019 and 2020. Under the NGAD program section of this report is a possible image of the NGAD fighter, that took an overall triangular shape and had no traditional vertical stabilizers. No fighter in history can boast of this, as vertical stabilizers are required to keep an aircraft in the air, or at least they were. There is an alternative approach now, known as Active Flow Control, or AFC, where the computer brains on board constantly adjust the flow around the aircraft to keep it airborne, similar to what happens with birds and in the B-2 Spirit Bomber. AFC comes with highly improved stealth, and so it's no wonder that the B-2 Spirit is the most stealthy aircraft ever developed, and at a unit cost of $2 billion, by far the most expensive too, indicating that AFC wasn't cheap to implement on the bomber, and it won't be on the NGAD fighter either. For even more improved stealth, the NGAD fighter will likely need to carry all of its fuel and weapons internally to cancel out the need for external tanks. To achieve this, the fighter will have to be huge, significantly more than the 62 feet of the F-22, with some experts expecting it to be as long as the 73-foot-long F-111 strike aircraft. This huge airframe would also allow for the fighter to wield the Air Force's new AETP engines. AETP, standing for Advanced Engine Transition Program, was created to develop cutting-edge engines for sixth-generation aircraft that would demonstrate up to 25% improved fuel efficiency than the next best thing, 10% additional thrust, higher range, acceleration, and improved thermal management. And although these engines would be cost efficient, their development costs are expected to be in excess of $6 billion, which is inconvenient for everyone but the systems on board, 
that would enjoy more than enough electric juice to keep them running at their peak. Systems such as the top-of-the-line electronic warfare countermeasures, avionics, missile complementing directed energy laser weapons, and communication systems. The communication systems in particular will need all the juice they can have, as they will be in constant operation with not only ground control, but multiple other supporting aircraft in the NGAD family of systems. These supporting aircraft are unmanned loyal wingmen that receive commands from the manned NGAD fighter. It is difficult to tag these supporting aircraft as drones, as that could make them easily mistakable as somewhat passive aircraft, which they're not. In fact, they are fully sized aircraft that on receiving commands can operate and execute submissions autonomously, packed full of all the required systems of a manned fighter and with the high cost too, with estimates sitting around a shocking $150 million per unit. And with the F-35 costing $77 to $80 million per unit, each wingman of the NGAD fighter could swallow up the accounting books of two F-35s, but only in the initial stages though, as the F-35s, although having a relatively low buy cost, come with wallet-zapping lifetime sustainment costs of $1.25 trillion. Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall says the Air Force is well aware of the sustainment issues with the F-35 and assured the House Armed Services Committee he was addressing on the 2023 budget proposal that while manufacturing costs of the NGAD aircraft would be high, the upgrades and maintenance could be achieved in a cost-efficient manner. Hopefully, this would be the same for the fighter itself, as it's not only looking to dethrone the F-22 Raptor as the top-of-the-line fighter of the U.S. Air Force in the 2030s, but would also dethrone the F-22 as the most expensive fighter in history, with its unit price point sitting between $200 and $300 million, dwarfing the $135 million unit price of the F-22. Zooming out from the unit costs shows that billions of dollars are already being poured into the NGAD program. The Air Force requested $1.65 billion for the program in the 2023 fiscal year budget, and the requests are expected to steady around this mark for the next two to three years before a spike to over $3 billion later as the fighter enters into its stages of production. And although high costs were expected in the NGAD fighter's program, these costs are still mouthwatering because there are several other sixth-generation jets under development, and they are not threatening to empty their government's federal reserves. Across Europe and Asia, militaries have also begun developing sixth-generation fighters of their own that could give the U.S. and Tempest a run for their money. Some of these fighters are the Tempest, FCAS, and the FX. The Tempest is under development in the United Kingdom for the British Royal Air Force, or RAF, by a consortium known as Team Tempest, which includes the British Ministry of Defense, BAE Systems, Rolls-Royce, Leonardo SBA, MBDA, and SAB. The fighter is expected to enter service from 2035, gradually replacing the Eurofighter Typhoon in service with the RAF. $2.5 billion is expected to be spent by the British government on the project by 2025, a significant gap from the yearly billions the American NGAD fighter gulps up. The FCAS, standing for Future Combat Air System, is a European combat system of systems under development by Dassault Aviation, Airbus, Indra Sistemas, and Thales Group to replace current France's Rafales, Germany's Typhoons, and Spain's EF-18 Hornets in the 2040s. The FCAS system of systems will include a next-generation fighter, as well as supporting remote-controlled aircraft, similar to the NGAD setup, and would cost about $10 billion from 2021 to 2027, which is still less than the cost of the NGAD within that time frame, despite not being backed by three partner nations like the FCAS is. The Mitsubishi FX is Japan's entry into the sixth-generation fighter race. It is Japan's first domestically developed stealth fighter jet. It is being developed to bolster the nation's defense industry and change Japan's overall defense posture as the tension with China continues. Mitsubishi Heavy Industries was selected as the lead developer in October 2020 to make the most of $48 billion in developing the fighters. This amount being significantly higher than that of the Tempest and FCAS, is shocking, 
but it is still lower than the unfixed total cost of the NGAT. And so, with such a wide gap between the costs of the NGAT fighter and other 6th Gen fighters, there are high expectations for the American representative that's being purpose-built for air superiority, with a long line of features never before seen on a fighter. The NGAD is as close to perfect as ever, and perhaps the only thing it needs is for you to subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up. And that would be all for this video. Thanks for watching.